Hello everyone, I'm Camille and I will show you in this video how quickly you can create object level controls by using some tools from the Kinefx tools uh, GitHub repo. And probably you already download the tools and you run download the scripts and you install all the HDAs, which is great. And I recommend you to create, um, to install your create OBJ controls Python script and put it on the shelf. And if you don't know how to do it, you can read it on a, a readme section on a GitHub. Anyway, there is a um, hip file called start. And if you open that hip file, you can basically see here a simple a skeleton for a frog. It's like a test rig, but that doesn't matter. In this purpose, it will show you basically how you can easily create the controls. So after opening the scene, you will have a controls library, which is a simple HDA, which you read about and has a bunch of controls, which can be used by your rig. And you're gonna have a rig here. And let me explain you what's going on here. So we have a skeleton, then we orient the join, then we have mirror skeleton. So that's the, oh, sorry, that's the, whoops. So that's the main skeleton here. For like left side, then we uh, orient the joints, then we have mirror skeleton, and we have the output from it. That's cool. And this is just, you know, the way how it's organized, that's just personal stuff. Everybody does it differently. And for organization purpose, I like to keep the things organized in this way. So the separated, so I'm basically, what I do when I do rigging, I'm basically blasting all the joints which I don't need, and I'm just rigging the one particular um, module or, or let's say spine or arm or something like that and then I'm blending it together I know everybody does it differently some people like to use the groups and etc but just for the tutorial I will continue with this kind of approach let me just keep the root for a second and let me show you how quickly you can create the controls for a spine so you can basically see here that I blasted all the joints except for the spine and the head then I go and I rename the joints to the IK controls and the same thing for FK control. So I'm basically ending up at this merge node, I'm ending up with the two chains, one for the FK and one for the IK, which is, that's what I wanted. And this is gonna be our controls. Then what I do, I reparenting IK controls under FK controls because that's how I would like to control it at the end. So let's create the first IK controls and let me show you how quickly you can do it. So let's create the attach control um, geometry. So this is a custom HDA. Uh, you have it in the package of HDAs from the repo. And it's pretty cool. You don't, need to con you don't need to connect here any controls. You can, but you can just use the library from the object level. Why not? Let's do that. And let's say display it and let's add the controls. And I like let's do i uh, like to be specific where i'm creating controls so i will just say here let's just create that on ik ctrl um cool and the control i will use a uh, let's say a rectangle xyz cool and let's go with the scale let's scale the those rectangles something like that change the color to the red and what i would like to have I would like to, after creating controls on the object level, I would like them to be X-ray. So they will be visible through the geometry. And I will call it um, IK attach, doesn't really matter. And let me do the same thing for the FK controls. So here you go. I will call this FK attach, here you go. And um, of course we need to rename it FK here. That's cool. I don't want a rectangle, I would like to have a circle, which is great. Oh, by the way, you can display them together if you want. That, you know, you can work it wherever you want. I don't want them to be x-ray, but I definitely want them, the circles to be, uh, maybe not that big, but bigger, so it'll be outside of the geometry, that's the frog. And let's say, change the color to the yellow. Wow, that's it, that's basically, that's basically it. And, then, you know, when you're reparenting everything, we can now test it. This is a great part of it. We can create a rig pose because everything will work with rig poses on the testing is just at the end. Um, so let's see if we enter the, if we enter the Python state. Yep, the FK works and the controls follow the FK, which is super cool. Okay, that looks fantastic. I can call it a 
test pose or something like that, doesn't really matter. And now let's rig the spine. So for a second, I'm just gonna disable that rig pose so everything will go back to what it was. And here I have a simple um, rig bob with a simple uh, spline IK in it. Let me just show you quickly. Um, it's just it's just very simple. I'm basically from the oh, sorry, I have some funky stuff in the mouse. So from the second input, um, I'm basically uh, loading controls on the second input. The first input will be a joints, play the solve curve, skipping the head, and etc. And it's done. So has been said. Let's say let's grab the second input here. And that's where my controls coming in. And here I'm gonna load in the original skeleton here. Um, yes, that looks fantastic. And here you go. That's basically it. And just to prove you that it's working, remember we had that pose. And now if we're gonna like, let me just exit the state so it wouldn't be clutter. Yep, that works. This is our spline and cape. So there's one thing which you probably notice, and I will show you the handy way to solve it. Um, is that if we bypass that spline, okay, you can see that the joints are moving, yeah? So the default position is not that default which you have your skeleton set it up, right? It's because the joints conform to the curve. And that's totally fine. We have, uh, we can just apply a very easy offset on it. We have a handy HDA for that. It's joint applied offset. So the first input is the joints where you want to apply the offset. The second input is the, if I remember correctly, and I remember it's the rest pose. And the rest pose is our original skeleton. And we're just gonna, that's gonna be our second input. And now we need, um, like what I would say, like a stash pose for that basically solve joints. So we will use a, Rig stash pose, which I'm a huge fan of it. It's super fast and super handy. Now let's stash that pose. So we will do dot restore and we'll use the stash and stash input. And we'll use the stash pose as an input and voila. So now we're gonna have our joints offset properly properly. And it works with um sorry for the sound and it works with um with our rig. Uh, post. So the cool part is like you can do all your rigging or the testing here and uh, the last step before handing over the rig or something like that you just uh, create the, the object level controls or something like that but it's not destructive anyway it's everything works perfectly so let's plug this one here let's blend the skeleton let's display it. let's test it once again whoop fantastic works great cool um, we basically don't need that rig pose anymore um, so let's create the global controls, right? Because now if we go to the object level, we you know, we would like to have our object level controls here so we can select them easy and do the X-ray and all the cool stuff on it. And let's just, so we basically need to select the joint, uh, sorry, the node from which, after which you wanna create the, the rig pose, yes? So in this case was a reparent uh, node, which we use. So we just select it, we click our script and the script creates for you uh, zero at it here, a node and the rig pose. Um, and you can read about this node, uh, the zero at it here, you know, on the um, GitHub. But if you go out, we, you will see that we have our controls here. And you can just lay them. Actually, you can lay everything as you want to and check this out. You can basically select your controls. And you know you can test it, and you know you can use the marquee selection. Look at this, and you can select from you know different rig poles and etc. And yeah, so that works perfectly, and the IK part works as well. That's so cool. And you know if you change something, you can delete all of that stuff. You can delete all of those object level controls, and you can just del delete those two nodes and recreate it. And the cool part at the end is like. You can still create a custom rig pose at the end. You can bypass this one. It's up to you totally. So um, let me just show you quickly. Let's get back quickly to the root because I just want to tell you, you know, like I skip it at the beginning. So I have it here, attach control, the same story. I created a few controls. 
specifically for root, rectangle, etc., etc. So I'm gonna select it. Boom! I created the two nodes being created automatically. They're being blended. So now, if we're gonna display this blend and we're gonna go up and look at this, we're gonna have some a uh, root setup here. Now, if you select root control here and you go translation, it's like you're gonna get the double transformation. And before you panic, it's totally normal. You just need a one extra stash rig stash pose. So what I'm talking about, uh, basically we need the no rig stash pose. That's not cool. Sorry. Rick stash pose, so uh, Rick stash pose, here you go, and we just need it. So our original skeleton, because it's in a hierarchy, we just need it to apply it. Um, we just need to apply it here. Yep, here. Mm -hmm. And here, that's great. And we just go restore. And we just do stash and stash and voila. So now if we go up and we just select everything, yeah, that we remove it as it should be. We select our you know trolls and everything is working fantastically. So you can follow through, you can just you know rig the rest of it. There is I left the part with the hips, uh, that doesn't really matter, it's the same story. But I just want to show you how to use this specifically attached controls. And the cool part is like uh, for example, if you just, uh, let's say I change the color of these controls, yes, and I go uh, up, so basically you can just go and delete those controls and you can just recreate them. Currently, none of that stuff is not updated automatically because I don't want it for slowdown. One important information here is that after rigging your, your rig, the cool the important thing is to disable, not disable, the bus, bypass basically attach controls and nodes because they're really slow. So they slow down your rig a lot. You don't need them anymore. And you can do that by creating a group. If you like groups, you can create a group here and you can just always bypass them and have an easy access to a, you know, add the group here and you can just always have like an easy way of like bypassing them. You don't need them here. That doesn't really matter. Your group will still work, but a performance boost will be significant if you're gonna bypass it. So that's just a tip. Uh, the reason why it's slow because it has a Python in it, the Python code, which is actually really slow, whatever it's due. And now I added more stuff to it, so it's even slower than when it was. So, but you know, just bypass it, do your stuff, and you can always unlock it when you need to do some changes. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and please. Um, and contribute to this project so it'll be better. Thanks guys.